Hello ROS developers and welcome to the ROS questions and answers video series. If you want to learn anything about ROS, this is your channel. ROS navigation, ROS with drones, ROS for autonomous cars, everything ROS is here. Learn ROS step by step and push your ROS learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Alberto Ezquerro and today we are going to be reviewing a question I found in ROS answers, which is quite interesting for for beginners, for people who are beginning to starting to learn ROS and starting to work with ROS. So I'm going to be checking this uh, question and answering it. But before anything else, remember to visit our Robot Ignite Academy. Our online academy where you will find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots. No installation required. You will find a link to the academy on the video description. Now, let's start with the video itself. So, as I've said, what I'm going to do is to review this question. And he, basi he basically says, in note, need locating after publisher. And he says, I create one simple script to send messages to other nodes, but other nodes cannot get messages, even if they have been connected. The code shows as following, and he shows here his code snippet where he is defining here a publisher into the chatter topic. Then he he defines this string of hello world, and then he publishes this string, and he basically says that this message cannot uh, cannot be accessed by other nodes. And yeah, then he did here a workaround, which is uh, not correct, let me say right now. But well, let's just check this code and let's see why other nodes cannot see this. And let's see how to easily solve it. So yeah, let's go. For that, I'm going to use the ROS Development Studio as always. I'm going to create a new project. And let's say I'm going to call it poop example and poop example let's create this project and then let's start it and we are going to wait uh, a few moments until the wall environment is loaded let me close this robot ignite academy now and yeah, so let's just wait a few seconds. It shouldn't take too much. Okay, great. So here we have it, everything loaded. So let's open a shell, first of all. And let's open an IDE as well to visualize the files and the workspaces better. So now I'm going to go directly to the Catkin workspace in order to create a new package. I'm going to call it, let's say, poop example, and let's add rospy as dependency because it's using Python, yeah. So let's create this new package, and now this package will appear here in the Catkin workspace. There we have it, excellent. Then let's create here our new code, new file group x.py, there we have it, and into this file let's copy the code that, that the user suoxd123 uh, posted here, so let's do a copy paste, there we have it, and then let's save it, and now let's launch directly this code and see what happens. So basically, as you can see, this code is very simple. It's a publisher. He is uh, initiating a node here. Then he is creating his publisher here, which will publish into the chatter topic, which is defined here. It will publish a message, which is an string. Yes, this is a string, he is importing it here. Then he defines this uh, this is a string which says hello world and and he adds here the get the time and then he finally publishes this message this string and he adds it to the lock 
so yeah, let's test this code and see what happens. Let's do our ROS run. Pop. Well, first of all, let me ensure that this code has execution permissions. It has, so everything's fine. Then let's try it. Example, pubex.py. Okay, let's make this a little bit bigger here. Great. So let's execute it. Okay, yeah, it says that I don't have uh, the master node. So what I'm going to do is to just launch a simulation here to have the ROS core automatically launched. Let's say let's launch a Chatterbot 2, for instance. I'm not going to use the, the simulation, but whenever I launch, this, uh, I launch a simulation, a ROS core is launched. So, and I need this uh, ROS core and the master, so I'm going to use the simulation for that. And then I will be able to run this example here. So yeah, let's wait a few seconds until the simulation loads. Let's see. Okay, yeah, there we have it. Here we have the Tactable 2 simulation loaded. And yeah, now let's execute this code again. Our pub example. And we have this hello world 00, zero okay. And basically what he says is that other nodes cannot get this message, cannot access this message. So let's try to access this chatter topic to see the message. Because as you can see here, this message is being published into the chatter topic. So yeah, let's do a ROS topic list in order to find this topic, the chatter. And okay. So, first of all, apparently it is not here, the topic. So, as you can see, we have the camera, clock, it should be somewhere around here, this chatter topic, and it's not there. Okay, let's try to execute it again. And let's do our roster big list again. Let's see if we can see it. No, it's not there. So, yeah, if the topic is not there, it's a uh, hundred percent sure that you won't be able to access this message from other nodes because the you need to have the topic this topic chatter running okay so what is going on here it's very simple actually what is happening is that this code it's running it's creating the publisher it's publishing this hello world into the chatter topic and also it's uh, publishing it to the logger. But after this, the node, this node, the talker node is automatically killed. Yes? So this execute this line by line and when it arrives here, this node is killed. So the chatter topic is also destroyed. Yes? That's why you cannot access your message from, from other nodes, yes? Because after this piece of code gets executed, this is killed, this is destroyed, and it's not accessible from anywhere, yes? So, what can you do in order to solve this? It's also very simple. Let's just define here a rate. For instance, ROSP rate of, let's say, 1. And then what we are going to do here is to do a while ROSPI, while not, sorry, while not ROSPI is shut down, which means while I don't kill uh, this uh, node, while I don't kill this program, this while will keep running, yes? Then inside this while, I'm going to place these two lines of code and I'm going to call my rate with rate sleep so that this loop gets executed at one hertz, 
Yes, I have defined it here one hertz. So with this rate of sleep, I'm uh, making sure that this loop will be running at one hertz. Yes. So basically, this is exactly the same, but I have put the the this line that publishes the message and the line of the loader into a while which will be running forever until someone kills this node. Yes, for instance, you can kill it with Control C or, or with other ways, yes, but until, until someone kills this node, this while, this while loop will keep executing. Yes? So, let's try to run now this updated code. Uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so as you can see, it keeps publishing. Yes, you can see here the logger that keeps publishing the message and this doesn't die as it was happening before. Before it was publishing one time and then it was dying. Now it keeps publishing. And now what would happen if I do a worst topic list? Well, it would happen that I can now see the chatter topic. Yes, so now I can perfectly do, for instance, a worst topic echo of the chatter topic and I will see this hello world. So now this message is accessible from other nodes. You can create a subscriber or whatever and you will be able to access this uh, message, yes? Until someone kills this program. For instance, I am going to do a control C here. And now, if I do a Rostopic Echo, I won't get any message. So I cannot access this message anymore. And if I do a roast topic list, you will see that the chatter topic is gone. Yes? And this is because I have killed my program with Ctrl C. So this condition uh, has been done and the program has ended. Yes? So yeah, that, uh, that's all. As you can see, it's a very simple answer, but this can sometimes confuse uh, some users. So I wanted to create a video about this. And, and yeah, that was all. So in the description of the video, I will put a complete course about Rust basics in five days in Python. And I will also put all the resources I have mentioned it in this video, like RDS, this tool I am using, also Robotic Night Academy. And if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every day. Either you like it or not, please share your thoughts and questions in the comments area. Goodbye and see you in the next video.